Hi guys, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. This is your host, Saint Ace of Chalices.net, pickapile.com. Today's reading is going to be about who is your person and what would they say to you right now? This is a no contact reading, so if you're not in communication with your person, this reading should be resonating with you. It's a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. But the first five cards would be who they are, and the next five cards would be what would they say to you right now, okay? So Pile number one, we got the red toothpick. Pile number two, we got the blue toothpick. And pile three, or pile C, we got the yellow toothpick. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Much love, right? Take care. Hi, pile number one. This is going to be your no contact reading for what would they say to you right now. Okay, let's get started. Pile one. Five of wands. Could be a fire sign. Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, Knight of Cups, Strength Card, okay, so I'm getting this could be a Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, or a Fire Sign. Or like Leo in particular. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be Leo, right? I'm seeing strong Leo, strong Pisces here. They could also be a, another type of water sign. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that who this person is... Remember, you may also be a fire or a water sign. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that you had a disagreement with this person... Uh, because there were multiple people involved in your connection, and you two were some pe you two were people who had it all together. Um, whether that be you guys moved forward in life, traveled together, or you're someone who made each other feel both of you made each other feel like the luckiest people in the world. But I'm seeing this connection was ruined because of I mean not ruined. Let's just say this connection. You guys are on the outs right now because. There were multiple people involved uh, with your situation. People that had nothing to do with your relationship uh, added stress to your relationship. So this could be other partners. This could be friends, family. It could be uh, young people who gossip. You know, it could be some drama around your community. Or it could be like, yeah, I'm seeing that strongly, right? And I'm seeing that this person was very honest about something. Or maybe you found out something about them. Or they had a moment of emotional outburst. Or it could have been someone accused the other of having an affair. And this led to you not talking to each other anymore. But I'm seeing this person very much so misses you a lot. Um, they sometimes go on the highway and they daydream about your beauty. They sometimes think about the sexual moments you've had together they feel like they just want to hold you in their arms this person is someone who loves you even now like they also feel this conflict energy but they still love you this is someone who is very romantic i'm seeing this person knows exactly how to text you exactly how to speak to you this person may bring you gifts sometime or may cook for you I'm seeing you guys discuss something heavily about love and the future of this connection. And since this this relationship, whatever whatever had happened, is this person of yours, they, they realize that it's not going to go forward as long as other people are around, even around this connection. Like, maybe they didn't do anything directly to you guys, but, like, even then, like, your person was very mad. I'm seeing this person said... Something clearly like, it's them or it's me. Or, I understand why you're there, but it's not going to work this way anymore. Because this person was just sick and tired of it. The High Priestess Reverse can also indicate affairs, okay? Someone got very emotional. See, the High Priestess Upright is like, this is someone who is not a slave to their emotions because see her feet are on top of the moon right like you got a moon represents emotions and secrets this high priestess knows all the secrets now in reverse this is being someone may have gotten exposed or someone's lie may have gotten exposed even though even so this person loves you still misses you sexually and i'm feeling that 
even though when you guys were together, maybe he, they weren't seeing it go forward, but this person also doesn't want their life to be without you. They're missing you emotionally. They know that caring for you is not something that's just going to go away. Okay, so without further ado, let's see. What this person would say to you right now if you guys were speaking. If you reached out, I guess. That's the, that's the way I'm going to interpret this. If you reached out, what would they say? If Pile 1 reached out, what would they say? What would their person say? Okay, I'm seeing more details about the discussion at hand. This was a third party situation where someone was delaying offering commitment. Uh, you may be dealing with an air sign or Taurus. Uh, I'm seeing that this person is going to bring up the lies that have been told in this connection but i'm seeing them do that in a way where they're going to bring up the fact that there was delayed commitment in this situation but they're not going to um totally cut you out there's actually pretty good energy i'm seeing here um this person may know that you're still juggling a lot in your life but they may be seeing progress in their life they may communicate that with you or it could be that this person may hold back uh, some details about their financial situation. I'm seeing it's going well for them. They may not tell you that. Even if you talk again, they may not tell you that. But this person is understanding of your situation. I'm seeing this person knows that it's not easy. Like, wherever spot you're in, it's not easy just to get out. And they have some kind of awareness that you can't commit right now you just can't you don't even know how to like basically right now i'm seeing page of pentacles three of pentacles reverse it's like maybe you're still in a third party but this person still believes the success of this connection it's just that they don't know what to tell you because i'm seeing you both had a disagreement like like you guys both had a disagreement about juggling but i'm seeing that they have some understanding that they can't just forget you because eight eight is in the um the two of pentacles right so they know that whatever you have you two have is a very very special it's not something that you can just destroy um and i'm seeing in the outcome here for you two if you guys were to talk there would be reconciliation talk there would be love talk and i'm seeing that you would both get even ground if you two discuss it uh i'm seeing that this person may feel a little down if you haven't come fully around but I'm seeing they'd be understanding if you talk to them. I'm seeing they would not be happy that you still haven't gotten rid of the wavy waters. But they know. They have some awareness. Maybe this person's spying on you right here and there. They have an awareness um, that you're trying. This person loves you very much. I, I feel so sad hearing, feeling this. It must be my pal. This loves you, person loves you so much. They feel like... They feel like... If they're Adam, they feel like you're their Eve. They feel like God chose you for them. And they won't give up on this this easy. So that's what I'm seeing. The main argument here was some lie about commitment that was not offered. Someone was very lackadaisical in their approach to give commitment 
someone like maybe not did anything at all. Like I'm saying, one person did all the effort, and the other person didn't do anything at all because the other person was in a third party. Uh, but I'm seeing you both come out of your traumas. I just see you guys not talking to each other right now, and I don't think that you guys will talk anytime soon. Kind of feels like you guys won't talk anytime soon, but. I'm seeing this person is not gonna let go of the discussion. They're gonna rehab. They're gonna have the same discussion they had with you when you left or when they left. They're gonna have the same thing there. But I'm seeing you're going to see a way more mature side of this person, a way more forgiving side of this person. Maybe you've never seen this before. A way more balanced side of this person. A way more balanced. Like like you don't you won't recognize them. If you were to talk to them right now, you won't recognize them at all. I think this person could have went away to school or something. Or started a new job. I think this person's not the same person you left. For sure. And that they won't let your lies go. They want to at least talk about the lies. Or they want to at least talk about the stuff. They're not going to let go the stuff that you two ignored. They're not going to do that. They're going to straight up bring it up. But they're going to do it in a very loving and understanding way. That's a beautiful reading. I'm glad I could do this for you guys. All right, pile one. That was your reading, red pile. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you guys. All right, bye. Hi, pile two, my blue toothpick pile. Welcome to your no contact reading. So this is going to be the reading about your situation with this person, your person, um, and what they would say to you right now. The first five cards are who are, who are they and what could have possibly been your situation. And the next six cards are going to be what they would say to you right now. A possible outcome, alright? So, let's get into it, alright? Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands. Judgment. Seven of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. This is a serious issue. I'm feeling like you could be any air or a fire sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, what I'm seeing here is there was a verdict being placed about vulnerability. I'm seeing both of you, you and your person are very logical people. And I think that the discussion or situation that took place before you separated was I'm hearing someone say, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep covering up for you. I can't keep helping you. I kind of feel like that's the energy. That's the message I'm getting at. You know, let me know if that resonates. But I'm seeing somebody thought about this for the longest time. Like 8 to 10 years. 7 to 10 years they thought about it. Or 7 to 10 months. 7 to 10 weeks. 7 to 10. I keep getting that 7 to 10. Or it happened in October. Your fight happened in October. Or August or July. Okay, what I'm seeing here is... I'm seeing here two people who had very good intentions in general. Neither of you are bad people, but I'm seeing that you two felt the... Uh, you two had this energy that the other person was... Uh, being unreliable. You couldn't trust what the other person was saying. I'm seeing you felt that way about them. They felt that way about you. Both of you were not spared. You both felt like, okay, look, it's just the other person trying to be uh, high-spirited and emotionally manipulative. Screw this person. I'm seeing you both thought that exact same thing when you fought. If you thought that, if you're, if you're there listening right now and you thought that, your person thought it too. I'm seeing you trust this person. This is not someone you're confused about. You have a lot of 
attraction for them, a lot of passion for them. You feel like this is your special person in the whole world, actually. And you miss them. This person is very special to you. But you felt like, at the time that you guys spoke, you felt like this this is not taking you forward. This has been so long. It's like it's been so long and there's no change. I'm hearing that specifically. Maybe someone said that in the in the phone call or the text. It's been so long. I'm not feeling you like I used to. I'm not hearing from you like I used to. I'm hearing one person said, one person said, one person said, I don't, I'm not special to you. They accused, I'm not special to you. The other person said, you are. And then they said again, well, I don't feel that way. I don't see things that way. I pray about you all the time, but I don't see anything change. And let's drop my passion for a second. What have you done physically either for me? Nothing. I'm saying if you guys had money money going on between you two, that was at a loss. I'm seeing in the passion department, that was at a loss. Oh, it felt that way, right? It felt that was at a loss. And the thing is, both of you are very intelligent people. It's not like you two got together to mess around. You two got together because you both find each other very sexy, very hot, very smart, stable in some ways. I'm seeing both of you felt like your emotions were being played with. Both of you felt like the feeling is mutual. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm really getting that. I'm really getting that both of you tried to do the right thing. But there's just a problem here communicating your love. I'm seeing you two may have clashing love languages. Maybe one is more emotional. One is more material. One is more uh, dreamy. And one is more grounded. Not in a bad way. Neither one of you is wrong in this, I'm seeing. I'm just seeing that there wasn't enough effort in in seeing it as a partnership, right? I'm seeing that disconnect uh, in this pile. Both of you do want it. I'm seeing both of you as l the whole time you're separated, you're both still wishing good for the other one. But I'm seeing some of you may have written off this connection completely. I'm hearing, yo, he's a lazy bum. She's a lazy bum. I'm hearing that specifically. She's a lazy bum. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so funny, right? That was just hilarious. I'm sorry, but that's what you guys said, right? It's not me. It's the card said it, okay? <laughs> Like, forget that lazy bum. <laughs> I'm so sorry, like, if they said it to you, right? Uh, but I don't think that. I think you said it, though. I don't think they said it. <laughs> but, but you both felt that also about the other one. Okay, you know, I'm seeing a lot of deflection in this pile. Okay, let's get, get into it, right? What would they say if they spoke to you? Right? Oh, oh, Paige is short, short, so, so this person's watching you, man. This person is watching you. Definitely this person is watching. What's under that? Let me see. <laughs> Three of Cups reverse. This was a third party situation where marriage was promised. But the devil is there. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Or just Satan's love child or some shit like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, alright? I don't want us to like mention religion on this channel. It's not important here. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. What is going on? Pile 2, blue pile, blue toothpick. What would their person say if they spoke to him right now? Page of Cups tried to show itself. So that means that they could apologize. Or maybe they're expecting you to apologize. Something like that. Some kind of flirty thing. Five of Swords is there. Be careful of this person choosing themselves. Excuse 
Okay, I'm seeing this person is actively trying to manifest you back into their life because their their emotions are messed up without you. I'm seeing they're going to directly speak about marriage. Five to the six. I'm seeing they're going to speak about marriage. This is double Hierophant, by the way, because the Hierophant is the person giving the money out here. I mean, I heard that somewhere. Let's roll with it. So, and on the bottom of the deck, I see the Magician, the Queen of Cups Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I'm seeing this person... Is this, first of all, I feel like you owe this person some money. That's the first thing I'm feeling. And the next thing I'm feeling is this person wants to marry you. They think you're drop-dead gorgeous. And they think that if you... Like, I mean, not if you. The whole time you've been gone, this person missed you. I'm seeing they could be drinking here and there. I'm seeing you may not um, exactly accept their advance. You're going to reject the relationship right away. You're not going to rush it. I'm seeing it's not that you it's not that you don't like them, but you're scared of being manipulated. I'm feeling pile two. You have a big fear of your emotions being used against you. And I'm seeing that you're going to get as much information as you can on this person. You may be already doing it. I mean, you're here, right? So you may be already doing it. Uh, I'm seeing one was breadcrumbed in the past. I'm seeing this person who is breadcrumbing is still going to breadcrumb because they're scared. They're scared of fucking it up. Failure. They're scared of failure. They're scared of failure to the point that they're paralyzed. Like, maybe this person's going to tell you that. They're gonna they're gonna call you out on your shit. Like they're gonna tell you you're stuck for nothing. Let's get married. They're gonna tell you you're stuck for nothing. You're manipulating it for nothing. Let's just do it. And I'm seeing you're gonna turn that down or something like that. But I'm seeing that's the that's the where the conversation's gonna go, right? I'm seeing you may address it. This could be an Aries or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm seeing you both are manipulative though. Like <laughs> like like you both you both miss each other but you both put your ego before each other man fuck this is my pile too isn't it <laughs> like you love this person so much and i'm saying you know it's the mutual energy that you both want each other in your life you're just hiding it from each other because you don't want the other one to think oh i like them no you want... No, they should like me first. That's what... <laughs> I'm getting... That's what you're saying, right? Like, you're thinking to yourself, no, they have to like me first, so I can reject them, so... But I won't reject them, but I should at least have the option to reject them. Like, that's like the, the, the story I'm getting. <laughs> I'm thinking you guys it may... And once you say no, right, this person's gonna get mad, mad again. Like, like, and so are you. Like, you guys get in shouting matches, but you love each other. And, like, you're always looking for evidence. Do you love me? And there's enough evidence also. But you just... <laughs> there's enough evidence that you love each other. But you guys are so wounded that you don't trust anybody anyway. Like, both of you are like that. So you're taking out that trauma on each other. You're taking out that fear on each other. It's like that. Alright guys, let me know if this resonates. This person is gonna, once you talk to them, they're gonna talk right back about, yo man, you breadcrumb me, I still wanna marry you because you suck. And then you, right, right from there, you're gonna start fighting all over again. But I'm seeing both people are manipulating each other to stay with each other. So this is all unnecessary, man. Like, both people are manipulating each other just to stay with each other. They... You, you guys just don't like to lose. You just don't... You just don't like... Hold on. You just don't like to lose. You're both missing each other heavily. You both want to put something together. But you're both reverse right now. Like, you're both reverse. This means you guys are drinking like shit just to ignore each other. I swear to God, this is my pile, man. <laughs> Alright, pile two. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Love and light. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Right? Bye. Hi, Pile 3. This is going to be your no contact reading for... What would your person say right now if you guys did talk? If you guys did communicate? What would you and your person say? Okay, so... 
Let's grab your cards. The first five cards are going to be what could have been the situation that transpired between you two and who is this person. And the next six cards would be what they would say to you right now. What like what would they talk about and a possible outcome, alright? So let's see. Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups. The Hermit. The Hierophant. King of Pentacles. Okay. Could be an air sign, water sign, or Taurus Virgo that you're dealing with. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that someone may have felt unloved in the situation. That was what was separated here. But someone made their love very apparent in the situation. And it may have been turned down because someone needed a lot of alone time first. They didn't want to rush into giving a promise. Um, and this person was very direct. Direct about, I love you. I'm not going to settle for less. This is how I feel. It's how I'm always going to feel. We need to grow something and we. I want answers now. Like someone was knocking on wood also when they said, it. I want answers now. Alright? Like someone was very um, clear. And I'm seeing the, sent the other person in a very uh, awkward position. They kind of felt like they can't trust the connection. And they sent themselves off into isolation. Like complete isolation. More than they need, right? It was like that. And it kind of felt like this person walked away from an upgrade. Something tells me that the love was kind of... The, whoever was in love though right they came off very cold though maybe you may th look at them as like a no a know-it-all so you got angry like like in the moment that this person was telling you off or you told this person off you may have seen a side to them that you felt like yeah you're saying you love me but this is kind of messed up man this is kind of you you felt like it was forced right so i'm seeing you just decided to focus on your your finances or your home life i'm seeing you're somebody who loves to take care of people maybe this person tried to get you to give something up and you declined i'm seeing you're both very smart people though very strong people you know how to get away like you you both know how life operates in your own respective lives but there's some kind of distance when it comes to union here I'm seeing someone is feeling like they know it all or they feel like they don't need this anymore. Maybe this person was around you for your knowledge and now they feel like, oh, I don't need you anymore. Something like that. Whatever, let's get into it. It's a very annoying energy. This must be your first card. Okay, so let's see. What would Pile 3's person say to them right now if they talk? I'm seeing someone's a commitment phobe. Okay, I'm seeing if you were to talk to this person, they would try their best to keep the conversation going as long as they could to find out if you're trying to manipulate them or not. This person feels that you're manipulative uh, in many emotional ways. Um, they may feel like they don't want to completely extend towards you anymore because of the way things ended. They don't have a high opinion of you these days because they feel like you're the player. Maybe you were the commitment phobe, I'm seeing. And this person is earning money. Um, okay, I'm seeing this person is was the one who's earning money. 
and you are the one who has love to give them and it's a real love and it's worthy and you know your worth but this person's finding you manipulative is what it is and this person may be open to a uh, sexual connection they may they may say okay i know i wanted stability before but since you don't want to commit all right fine i'm cool with that like maybe they'll say that or they'll agree to take it slow. They're ready to take it slow or take it fast. They miss you. They miss you a lot. Their emotions haven't been the same since you left. They're into you still. They think about you a lot. They think about how stable it was. But I'm seeing that there were lies told in this connection. Um, and uh, it could have been a lot of drama. A lot of moments where... It could. It all was like stable one minute and then going to shit one minute. So I'm seeing you both have had a lot of time to think. I'm seeing this person is going to say that also. If you talk to them right now, they will tell you that they've had a lot of time to think. They've had a lot of rest. They are analyzing each and every detail about stability when it comes to connection. They feel like maybe you're still a player or something like that. But they know that they can't get rid of their emotions for you. They've tried. This person has tried. But they want new memories with you. This is someone who is not disregarding their love for you or your love for them. Or your passion for them and their passion for you. They want to give it another shot. But they, they kind of doubt the stability in this connection. Because I'm seeing two fours here. And I'm seeing the emperor reverse on the bottom. So I feel like... There were promises of commitment, but it didn't work that way. I'm seeing someone is like... I'm seeing you both have like a shitty attitude. Like, toward each other, you make it about yourself. Uh, okay, all three piles resonate with each other, so you may want to just check all three. You don't have to do that. You know, if you pick this pile first, this is your message, but... I'm seeing, yeah, both of you don't mind uh, manipulating each other. That's like the, the equal thread of all three piles, right? It's like you both want something stable. You just don't know how to say it. I'm seeing one is so emotional. One is like not. Like, they're just not. But I'm seeing a heavy focus on finances. I'm seeing you both want to improve the health of your stability and the health of your passion. You don't want to run amok. And I'm seeing you have a very detailed conversation with this person. About the ups, about the downs. It's going to be a full conversation. If you were to reach out to this person, I'm seeing a stable offer. However, I am seeing one energy hold back because the other was a player in the past. Or is a very in and out energy. Like, not just a player. Just maybe they're willing to like say, okay, fine. If it's just sex to you, I'll have sex. It's like... It's like someone is w willing to keep that going now. Wh where in the past they weren't. Now they'll say, okay, fine, I'll have sex now. It's something like that. Um, that's the message I'm getting, please. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't. But I'm seeing this person's emotions for you have not gone anywhere. As a matter of fact, it's gotten even more strong. And this person also, if they didn't have finances then, they have finances now in some way. But I'm seeing they may not be so willing to share that with you. The details or the finances itself. It could just be this person feels broke without you. You were their wealth. You were their happiness. You offered them love. You're their happiness though now. And they've realized that. They, they want to talk to you again. But both of you may have a lot of situations going on. I'm seeing you're both very busy people. So, But like every now and then when you have like some time off. You think about the romance. That may or may not have happened. You just daydream about it. It's like you both are like very emotional people. Both of you are. It's just one can show it. One does not. Uh, this person would talk about their emotions. They would talk about how they know they may have hurt you. And how you may have hurt them. Um, they'll tell you about the things they thought about. I'm seeing you may not get all the truth out of this person. There could be something they're hiding. They could be hiding that they're still in some devil energy. Uh, they could be dealing with some addictions or um, a sexual connection on the side already. I'm seeing you're not that surprised. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm seeing this person is going to possibly... This person is going to offer you a stable union. And if you reject that, then they'll be like, fine. If, if the sex is the only thing you want to give it, I'll still take it. Like, they'll, they'll may say that they'll still take it. <laughs> That's the thing that I'm seeing here. Because they're, they're wild for you. This person is going to tell you they're wild for you. All right, Pile 3. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you, all right? This has been another PickUpPile.com production, all right? Take care. Peace.